In this video, I am going to show you how to find lesser throw counter. You are looking pelvis and hip from slightly laterally and slightly anteriorly. You know, lesser throw counter is very deep structure. By the way, this is greater throw counter. Lesser throw counter is very deep. It's almost on the posterior part. See, this is lesser throw counter. This is ischium. See, lesser throw counter is pretty much on posterior part. But it's hard to approach lesser trochan from posterior part because there is gluteus maximus and hamstrings are very close. Deep lateral rotators are close to this part. It's very hard to palpate from posterior part. Now, how do I do it? How do I know where lesser trochan is? How can I palpate lesser trochan more easy way? Okay, here is one thing. You need to bring your hip joint to abduction and external rotation. I apologize for inconvenience. This body model doesn't do abduction and external rotation. But let's imagine this bone does abduction and external rotation. It's like about 30 degrees abduction and easy, nice external rotation. Now, lesser trochanter here comes to anterior way because it includes external rotation in external rotation posterior part comes to anterior way right plus abduction now you have one criteria here this is asis if you bring hip joint like 30 degrees abduction and external rotation lesser tool counter comes like about vertical line of ASIS. Of course, there is variation. Some people go a little bit later, or some people's lesser throat counter go a little bit medial. There is variation, but adequate landmark is it shows up at level of ASIS, like vertical line. Okay, this is one criteria. Now, when you do myofascial release, you, when you do acupuncture, when you do trigger point, you need to be aware of two tissues. One thing is femoral artery. It's running like this, you know, red indicates artery, right? Femoral artery. Then one more tissue. Very beside, very lateral from femoral artery. This black tissue indicates femoral nerve, femoral artery. And if you go just next to femoral artery, there is femoral nerve. You don't want to push these two tissues, right? Because when you compress artery, you can evoke sympathetic nervous system reaction, right? And you do not want to stimulate nervous tissue, right? However, these guys can be good criteria to palpate lesser trochanter. Why is that? Because it's easy to palpate femoral artery because it has strong pulse, right? When you palpate around this inguinal area, you feel bump, bump, now you are on femoral artery. If you go very lateral, there is femoral nerve. You don't want to compress here. Then do you remember? 30, 30 degrees abduction, external rotation. Now, lesser trochanter shows up about vertical line of ASIS. Now you want to double check. You need confirmation. How do you do it? Femoral artery, boom, boom. Femoral nerve. Then you find kind of bony prominent, you are on lesser trochanter. You know, at first time, it's it's a little bit hard to palpate because there are a lot of thick structures right here. But once you are able to palpate femoral artery and femoral nerve, it's easy to go there. It's just lateral from these two tissues. I hope this anatomy helps for your clinical experience. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.